What is up guys, BNC here. In this video, we're gonna be doing a review on the Lose Tournament Pro G. Hold up, you can't even see it, bro. Let me fix this. Review on two reels. The Lose Tournament Pro G and the Cast King Assassin. Why, you may ask? Well, if you look all the way down here, price point of the Lose Tournament Pro G is $200 compared to the Cast King Assassin, which is $60. So we're gonna see if the Cast King Assassin is a better deal to purchase than the Lose Tournament Pro G. If you guys like these videos right here, it's my first time making it, so uh, be easy on me. If you guys like these uh, tutorials or whatever, tips and tricks, leave in the comment below that you enjoyed it, or give me a thumbs up, either one. We're going to be talking about these two reels and how they compare and contrast. Pros and cons, whatever. Whatever you want to do. It's up to you. It's your money. But, I'm going to show you guys the comparison. Let's go. Alright guys, we're going to start at the top. Let's go. Let's see. The Lose Tournament Pro G. TPG, short for it. Has 10 plus 1 anti-reverse ball bearing. And the Cast King Assassin has 11 plus 1 anti-reverse ball bearing ball bearings they're both stainless steel so uh, I would have to give it to the assassin for having one extra ball bearing I don't know if that matters or not but uh no clue Turnip Pro G has a 6.3 to 1 gear ratio which is good for cranking and the uh, Cast King Assassin has a gear ratio of 6.8 to 1 that should be good for uh I guess for cranking too and uh Maybe some spinner baits. The Tournament Pro G has a 14 pounds carbon fiber drag, while the Casting Assassin has a 16.5 pounds of carbon fiber drag. So the Casting wins when holding up the bigger fish. But I don't know why you need that much pounds of drag, because if you're bass fishing, I doubt you can catch a 16 pounder. They both have a 95 millimeter carbon fiber handle. So that's a plus on both sides. The Tournament Pro G holds 120 yards of 12 pound mono, while the Casking Assassin holds 100 yards of 12 pound mono. So uh, the Tournament Pro G holds 20 yards more than the Assassin. Now to the weight, the Assassin beats the Tournament Pro G surprisingly. The Casking Assassin with their lightest reel is 5.7 ounces. And that's why they call it the lightest reel of Cast King. The Tournament Pro G weighs in at 6.2 ounces. Not bad for a bait caster. Let's talk about the gearing. The Cast King Assassin has brass gears in them, while the Tournament Pro G has high strength aluminum gearing. The Tournament Pro G has a one piece aluminum frame, and the uh, Cast King Assassin has a high strength carbon fiber body. Well, it's not carbon fiber, it's just high strength carbon body. Lose Tournament Pro G has a lightweight machine aluminum spool and the Cast King Assassin has a forged aluminum spool. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but I'm assuming that's the same thing. They have drilled holes in them or something. Breaking systems. Tournament Pro G has an external centrifugal or centrifugal braking system, which they call Speedcast. The Speedcast adjustable centrifugal brake system delivers an extreme range of braking power from free spool to maximum by simply clicking as its external dial to choose among 27 variable settings. The Tournament Pro G Speed Spool puts you in control of your cast perfectly, aligning brake power to lure size. With this system, you have more casting control over light lures while maximizing casting distance with all lures. Damn, son, that's pretty dope. Now the braking systems on the Cast King Assassin has a dynamic six pin centrifugal and magnetic brakes for laser focus, casting accuracy even with wind drift, lets you hit the bullseye every time, son. Going on to the cast control, the uh, cast control on the uh, Lose Tournament Pro G is really nice. It actually has a speed dial that has a convenient line indicator dial on it. 
quickly recognize what line type and line weight you have loaded on your reel. So that's a pretty cool feature. And the best thing about the cast control is that it clicks. You can tell when it you change the setting because you can keep on clicking and clicking it. But the Cast King Assassin doesn't click. So uh, it's hard to get it tuned right. Some other features about the Tournament Pro G is that it has a hook keeper on it. I think Lou's the only ones that make the hook keeper like this. I guess they got it patented. It's got some nice details on the reel. The Cast King Assassin has a nice color to it, just black and has like this little blue accents everywhere. It makes an awesome reel to pair with the uh, Bass X by St. Croix. All right guys, in conclusion, if you guys wanna go with a cheap, affordable reel, go with the Casking Assassin. If you wanna go higher up, get some better quality reels, go with the Luz Tournament Pro G or something better than that. Get a Shimano or something. Casking Assassin has almost the exact same features as the Lose Tournament Pro G. I've only had these two reels for a year or so, so I've tested it out quite some time. All right guys, what do you guys decide? Would you go with the Assassin or would you go with the TPG? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you own any of these, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about these reels. Let's drop some discussion down below. If you wanna see more reviews like this, let me know and I'll try to make some more. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in if you watched to the end. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you're into that stuff. And, and, see you guys next time on Bass and Coffee.